Hi, my name is Errol Evangelista, and I am a bioinformatician in the Mayan lab at the Icahn School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in New York. I am here to demonstrate SIGCOM Links, a new web server application that we recently developed. SIGCOM Links is a data portal and a search engine that serves over 1 million gene expression signatures collected from different resources. The bulk of the signatures in SIGCOM Links were generated from the latest release of the Links L1000 data produced by the CMAP team at the Broad Institute. The L1000 assay is a low-cost transcriptomics biotechnology assay that enables high-throughput transcriptomics profiling. The L1000 assay was used to profile over 3 million samples, and our team computed over 1 million signatures from this data. These signatures include over 30,000 chemical perturbations of drugs and small molecules applied in different concentrations and time points to a collection of about 60 human cell lines. In addition, the Lynx L1000 data contain CRISPR knockouts for over 7,000 single genes in 10 cell lines. We also generated tissue-specific aging signatures from GTEx by comparing the 20 to 29 age group as the control with the older age groups across all GTEx tissues. Lastly, we also created an automated method for processing signatures from GEO by utilizing term frequency tables to identify the control and perturbation samples. Altogether, this collection of over 1 million signatures are served for search and download from SIGCOM links. Central to SIGCOM links is the concept of connectivity mapping. The idea for connectivity mapping is to enable biologists to compare their input, up, and down gene sets to a catalog of gene expression profiles to find signatures that mimic or reverse their input signatures. The connectivity mapping approach can be used, for example, to prioritize drugs and preclinical small molecules to reverse the expression of signatures created by comparing a diseased tissue with an adjacent normal tissue, or tissue from a mouse model of a disease with the same tissue from wild-type mice. This method can discover candidate drugs and targets from expression data alone. This connectivity mapping approach can be further extended to query single gene sets to find signatures that maximally up or down regulate the gene set. For example, if we wish to induce autophagy, we can find drugs and preclinical small molecules that maximally upregulate the expression of genes from this pathway. And now we go to the website to begin the demo. You can access the site by navigating to this URL. When you go to the SIGCOM links website, you are greeted with a concierge that provides a quick overview of all the things you could do with SIGCOM links. This is summarized here in this flowchart below. Users can start with up and down gene sets or a single gene set and perform signature search on them. Or you can find signatures that induce or inhibit a specific gene either by performing signature search on their co-expressed genes or going to the dedicated gene pages to find signatures that maximally up or downregulate the gene. SIGCOM links also come with built-in support with variant ID conversion to gene names. Lastly, you can perform term search to query signatures from SIGCOM links or retrieve gene sets based on literature conventions or from processed annotated libraries. Let's start with an input of up and down gene sets. This redirects you to the signature search page for up and down gene sets. To start the search, you can enter your genes in these two forms. These forms accept gene names and ensemble IDs as input and also provide supports for variants. Input is validated in real time so you can get feedback on which genes have no known matches in the database, as well as get suggestions for some gene entries. Now let's try clicking on the example input. Optionally, you can provide the description of your input in this box before clicking the search button. Clicking the search button redirects us to the results page where you are provided with bar plots showing the top 10 mimickers and reverser signatures. Hovering over the bar shows you the name of the signature as well as its corresponding ZSUM. 
Here you can see all the data sets we collected from the automated geo signatures, GTEx aging signatures, L1000 datasets for chemical perturbation, CRISPR knockouts, overexpression, etc. And we also constructed consensus signatures for each chemical perturbation and CRISPR knockout targets so users can easily rank how well a drug or a gene target mimics or reverses their input. Clicking on one of these expands the window which provides more information. Here you can see the top 10 mimicking and reversing chemical perturbation in both bar and tabular form. Now suppose you enter the genes that are up or down regulated by disease. With these results, you are able to see potential drugs that reverse the disease signatures and in what context. In other words, what cell line, what dosage, what time point. You can download this table to explore the metadata of the top signatures, as well as download the rank matrix that shows the ranking of your input gene sets with respect to the top reversers. Additionally, you can view the cluster gram to see how the input genes are ranked. The URL for this analysis is persistent and can be easily accessed by clicking on the share button here. Now let's go back to the concierge. Users with single gene sets can use them as input to retrieve signatures that up or down regulate their input gene set. This is pretty much the same as the up and down gene set demonstration we have earlier, but this time with just one box. It has real-time validation of genes and support gene names, ensemble IDs, and variant IDs. Now let's try our example input. As you can see, the results page is the same, showing bar charts for different resources, but this time, instead of mimickers and reversers, these are labeled as up and down, indicating that these resulting signatures up or down regulate the input gene set. Clicking on expand provides an expanded view of the results with the bar charts as well as the downloadable tables. Users can also click on cluster grammar to view a cluster gram of the input gene ranking with respect to the top 10 up and down regulating signature results. The single gene and single variant buttons provides you with the same option. Sigcom links support variant names, which it then converts to gene name. For these two buttons, you are provided with two options. The first one queries for the top genes that positively and negatively correlate with the input gene. You see, we are redirected back to the signature search page and we can use the form we have here at the bottom to query for genes. Autocomplete is provided and variant names are automatically converted. This queries Arches4 API for the core express genes and feed it as an input for signature search. This allows us to find drugs or targets that may potentially induce or inhibit the input gene. The other option we have for a single gene or variant is the retrieval of signatures that maximally up or down regulate them. If we click this button, we are redirected to this page where we can search for a gene or a variant name. You are provided with three options. First is to go to the gene page, and then the last two are the apiters. The, the first one redirects you to the page dedicated for that gene, and it provides you with tables showing the top signatures that up or down regulate the gene. These tables show the metadata for the signatures, as well as the score that was used to rank these genes. Users can also download the information on this table using this convenient button. These signatures are grouped by dataset and you can explore the top signatures per dataset using this drop-down menu. The two other options we get redirects to two different apiters. Apiters are web-based applications based on Jupyter Notebooks that enable users to execute bioinformatics workflow without coding. The first one does a reverse search on the geo signatures to obtain the top up and down regulating human and mouse signatures. This apiter provides volcano plots and tables for the users, which they can then download for downstream analysis. Here you can see the top 10 signatures where ACE2 is upregulated, 
in human signatures. And you can download the results here. The other operator also provides the same output, but this time for the RNA-seq like CRISPR knockout and chemical perturbation signatures. To build the signatures, we transform the L1000 profile to RNA-seq like profiles using CycleGAN. The motivation for this is to provide signatures with full coverage of genes compared to L1000 that provides expression levels for 978 landmark genes as well as the other inferred genes. Here we see the top CRISPR knockout signatures where ACE2 is upregulated based on full change. The last option we get allows us to search for any term and potentially convert them to input gene sets. The first one redirects us to the metadata search which allows us to query the metadata database for any search term. This can include querying signatures from a specific cell lines, perturbed by specific drugs, or are affected by a disease. Suppose we want to search for dexamethasone signatures. You are redirected to this results page. Here you can filter the search results using the dedicated boxes on the right. You can also click on the chips to add that term to your search query. Clicking on these three dots provide you with several options for interacting with the signature. The first one uses the signature's top 100 up and down regulated genes as input for signature search. Then you have the option to download the signatures as well as send the up or down regulated genes to enricher for enrichment. Furthermore, you can click on the signature's name to get the expanded metadata as well as its top, up, and down regulated genes. Now the last two options allows us to convert a term to a gene set. The first one does so by doing a PubMed search and returning the top genes that are commensioned in literature with the search term, while the second one utilizes the term search API of Enricher to fetch annotated gene sets. These two buttons redirects us to this page, and you can toggle between two types of search using this switch here. You can enter a term here, suppose wound healing, select whether you want to get the signatures that induce or inhibit the term, and click search. This fetches the gene set and performs signature search on them on chemical perturbation dataset. The results are provided are similar with the signature search result, but with this one geared on chemical perturbation signatures only. The download page provides all the metadata and data that we used on the site. This includes level 5 signatures for GTEx, GEO, and L1000 signatures, level 3 and level 5 data for the RNA-seq-like signatures, and, char and characteristic direction coefficient matrices for GEO signatures as well as other metadata and data. Data packages from the different links DCCs are also available for download. And with that, we've demonstrated the current features of SIGCOM links. We hope you'll be able to use our tool to accelerate your research for drug and target discovery in systems pharmacology. Thank you.